Hey there, YouTube friends and family. Just gonna get that 22 ammo uh, out of the way. We are out at the range. You probably can hear some gunfire sporadic in the background. It's a rifle range next door, so, uh, you know, bear with me. It's as quiet as it can be. Um, so, uh, really cool, especially for you Canadians out there. This is a real treat, because we can kind of look at both of them side by side and, and really get a good idea of the differences. And I mean, you know, just what's going on. This is, of course, the Made in Canada Kodiak Defense WK180C, both chambered in 5.56. So I'll talk about the similarities. Similarities, I mean, you can kind of tell it comes from the same company. Uh, stand them up side by side. Okay, they both have that 18.7 barrel length. Uh, I think one stock is just, you know, how it's fitted on the back. Might be sticking out, or the butt pad itself, because he's kind of got... What I would call the chintzy kind of butt pad and this one came this is the Magpul edition so you get a little bit better uh, butt pad pad on it but uh, this could have been purchased with the same furniture as this it was this one was a little bit more expensive um, anyway you can see they're identical right you've got the M lock barrel shroud I do like the barrel shroud on this one better because you can see it's you know a plethora of M lock all the way around and the barrel shroud extends about two and a half inches over this one and this one's got that kind of funky angled cut on it I don't know why they did it I guess somebody thought in their in their mind that it looked nice ergodynamics I, I guess it's I mean aesthetically to me it's not overly pleasing I like the full shroud on this one so uh, we've got the gen 1 in my right hand this one belongs to me and the Gen 2 that my brother Impulse bought because I already had one and I think he couldn't be one up. There's a little bit of sibling rivalry you'll hear throughout these videos. So, uh, I'll talk about the Gen 1 a little bit and then I'll go to the Gen 2 and see why I think it's like, I don't know, it's a win-win, whatever one you select, I think. Uh, this one here when it came out was $12.99. That was, I think, four years ago when I bought it, when they initially started about talking about the AR going prohibited, and then, of course, that OIC came out. So I impulse bought myself um, a 5.56, 223, both are chambered as such, uh, because I like shooting that caliber. Now, my brother was more into hunting at the time, so he didn't get on the uh, kind of like sport shooting bandwagon. Uh, and we were talking about that today, actually, that how much we had both missed, because we were both in the military, and we both kind of missed that, like, have a fun day at the range kind of thing. Normally, when we were going out, it was to, like, check the zero of a hunting rifle, go out, put meat on the table, and then clean your firearm, and it goes away and doesn't come out for a long time. So, uh, okay, so similarities, okay, yeah, you know, like, it's, I, I hate saying AR because I, I keep you know thinking that somebody's gonna come and grab it right out of my hands but uh, the style is there okay it's an Armalite style firearm it's a semi-automatic um, 18.7 as I said chambered 556 as well as 223 uh, which is nice the barrel is a 1 and 8 twist uh, which is really good it's a short stroke gas piston so these are same things that both of these share this one weighs seven and a quarter pounds from the factory with an empty mag. The Gen 2 weighs seven and a quarter pounds from the factory with an empty mag. Uh, the nice thing about these firearms is because of the firearms laws, you can use a 10 round magazine um, because there's a pistol magazine available. So I'll just grab this just for a second. So these metal and plastic P mag, LAR magazines, they do fit, they work great. Um, make sure you get one for the 223556. Um, and I prefer the metal ones. My brother's got some plastic ones, and we were just like zeroing the uh, Spitfire Vortex optic that he has on it. And uh, he was having a couple of issues with the 30 round pin to five. Uh, it just wasn't holding in. That might be just a breaking issue. This firearm is brand new, it's got 15 rounds through it. This is the initial shooting of this. So. Uh, it's a free float barrel, obviously, as you can see, both Gen and 1 and 2 free float barrel. I kind of went with the angle front guard uh, grip because I actually bought this to uh, possibly take down deer. So my choice of optic, a little bit different. I went with a Sig Sauer uh, Whiskey uh, 3 
I know it's not a great optic, but uh, glass is relatively clear. I have taken deer with it. Um, you just have to make sure that you're not shooting at 300 yards. You want an ethical kill, right? Like we, that's what we strive for. And uh, this suited the purpose at the time. I've since replaced this as my deer hunting rifle, but it worked and now it's kind of fun to take to the range. So I might actually put something like a red dot on it. I have a couple of ones that I'm throwing around. Uh, okay, so we'll, uh, I mean, they're both like the T60, 61, uh, you know, military grade aluminum, T6 aluminum. They're both like that. It's a mix of polymer and, and metals. I mean, obviously the hand grip, buttstock, anything you put on it, vertical grip, angle front grip, those are all gonna be in your polymer materials. But I mean, they're solid. The castle nut's the same. But when you look at this one, and this is where the big difference comes in, okay, folks, it, it's ergo uh, uh, ergonomics. I mean, this, I don't want to say ugly. Um, Boxy. It's very blocky. I mean, it kind of looks like like a Bren on the back end. And then, like, the angle of this is, like, a little bit wrong. It should either be straight or angled front. Like, it, at, you know, I'm just used to looking at an AR. Uh, but, I mean, the feel of it when you shoot it, you don't notice that. It's really hard to change the grip on this because you have to get one that's just recessed out this way and there's a slight angle to it. Whereas if you look at the Gen 2, it's gonna take a standard AR uh, grip, which there's tons of them. So if you didn't like this for whatever reason, and this is very reminiscent of your uh, C7 or M16 grip. So I would keep that on there. I think it's a good grip. I don't need like a, a textured rubber grip on what I think feel in my hands is like a battle rifle. I know this isn't a battle rifle, but this is what it reminds me of because I, I was in the military. So the price on these guys though now is up to 1650. So they're 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 pricey, okay? But I don't I don't see the price going down, but I think you're gonna get a great firearm. And if you want a semi-automatic 556223, this is your choices. There's this one, uh, Siberian and I was just reading, there's a Lockhart, a company out in BC that makes one uh, called the Raven. Very pricey, hard to find. Crusader Arms makes an outstanding so, 223. Very pricey. Yeah, and, and I think Maple, there's Maple Ridge or something like that. Maple Ridge Armories as well. Uh, they might be going into the straight pull because they put out some that were like non-restricted and then they went prohibited. Anyway. This is kind of the choices you have, and from what we understand, the Liberal government is saying the ones that are already in circulation that are legal are not going to be redesignated. If they keep that promise, it would be the first promise they keep, but I mean, there's hope at least. Uh, so there it is, guys. I mean, both are fun to shoot, but this one is, it, it, it's just a better looking firearm. It feels better. You got that nice, like, curve up here at the top of your, your pistol grip non-reciprocating uh that's another difference sorry to mention non-reciprocating charging handle so uh when you shoot this one and it does have a hold open as well on the on the bolt when you shoot this one like you don't have to worry about a charging handle moving back and forth uh this one here the charging handle does go back and forth it's it's attached to the bolt it's not an issue i mean i don't know anybody that puts their hands up here anyway um, but you know, that was a complaint. People didn't like that aspect of it. What I would like to see, I want to see a dust cover. Every time I shoot around and, and I'm at the range and I go to lay it down, my finger, uh, muscle memory, I go up there for a dust cover. I'd like to see that. I'd like to see, I know you can get pieces and parts for it. I'd like to see a, a deflector for sure. Like you can already see, you could actually count if you got close enough. You could count how many rounds he's fired because, and I know it's only a brass mark in the metal, but I mean, honestly, it, if it's hitting there, it means, you know, it's coming back, straight back. So I would like to see a deflector, uh, Canadian invention, by the way. Uh, this is what you got. These are the options. I think they're both great, but man, that, that Gen 2 just, it feels better. It looks the part better. You got Picatinny rail for miles. You got the M-lock. Uh, he went with a little bit fuller of uh, a vertical grip. It seems to shoot amazingly well, but so does the Kodiak uh, Gen 1. They're both, 
they're both really good shooters. So there it is, guys. Uh, we're gonna shoot a little bit. I I want to shoot this Gen Tune. Um, maybe we'll run some video of that. We're, we're only out at a 25 meter because we're trying to keep the noise down to make these videos. But we want to go out to a 50. I want to shoot this Gen 2. I want to see how that feels compared to the Gen 1. Which I haven't shot a lot of rounds out of it. But, you know, there it is. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you like this video so far. We're going to throw in some, you know, B-roll and all that kind of good stuff. So you can get a good close look at it. And uh, enjoy. Don't forget to click that like and subscribe. It really helps me out. Uh, we got some fantastic content for you and every time you do that you're I guess pushing me to make some better stuff and uh, if you don't like it drop that in the comments if you're running something similar if you got a BCL out there Siberian I'd love to hear your comments on that I don't know anybody that has one yet uh, but I'd like to get my hands on one and at least shoot it all right 